You know, I've learned that the way you spend one dollar is the way you'll spend a million dollars. It's a hard, cold fact, but you have to be mindful of the little things. Be mindful of how you spend that dollar. Getting the opportunity to host a spectacular show on NBC like American Ninja Warrior has been, I mean, unbelievable. I ask myself and I look back and go, wow, how did I find myself here? It wasn't easy. Crenshaw is a place that, uh, known for a lot of its gang violence and criminal activities, it was very challenging because there are a lot of temptation to kind of veer off track. The most important part of growing up in a neighborhood that way was having my parents who stayed on top of us and focused on what was important, and that was getting an education. All of us had the opportunity to go on and get college degrees, to go on and to do something better with our lives. My dad and mom, both entrepreneurs. My dad, he had an ice cream truck and then got into plumbing, and I mean, he ruled it. My mom, she did hair, and I mean, people love Lady B is what they called her. It was something that I learned now is you have to burn your candles. And my dad would say that all the time, you had to burn your candles. And that really means just doing something when you really don't want to. I didn't really want to play football, but it was my brother's success in football. I had a brother older than I, and people thought that they could duplicate that same type of success. I decided to give it a try in the name of being an athlete. I said, I'm an athlete, I can do anything, I'll be successful. And I remember quitting. I remember getting in there crying after my first, very first football practice. Nobody could really see, but underneath my helmet, I was like, man, this is for the birds. This is way too rough. I never get hit like this in, in basketball. And my dad brought me back to the school and said, if you start it, you finish it. And my coach gave me a tough time after that and you know, he called me a quitter and this and that, and that. So I had to earn his trust back. And that to me was where I, I grew up. And to my surprise, Although green and raw, I ended up getting a college scholarship to San Diego State. You know, playing in the NFL, I played for three teams in a span of five years. I didn't have the career that I wanted to. I thought that I was gonna play 10 years in the NFL, I was gonna make a lot of money. And I think in total, counting up everything, bonuses and everything together, I made a little over a million dollars. In that short period, I realized like, man, it sure did go by pretty fast. I probably left the NFL with about $300,000. I was 28 years old and $300,000 went quickly. I spent the first year out of the NFL working for free and I wanted to get an up on my second career which was broadcasting. Then the following year I get married. Now I'm colliding my world with another world and things change and all of a sudden I looked at that $300,000, it didn't have a lot of zeros behind that three anymore and that was scary. It put me in a position like, oh man, I've got to make a real decision. I almost gave up on my broadcasting career because I had gone down to about $40,000 left. I've never taken a job and not have a passion for it. I've taken jobs where I've worked primarily for the money, but I had a passion. I found a passion in everything that I do. Otherwise, I couldn't be authentic about it. An opportunity popped up for me to sell artificial turf. I loved it because it kept me close to sports. I had a chance to talk to people that I was familiar with. Some people would look at selling turf as, wow, you played in the NFL and now you're selling turf? I didn't let my pride get in the way for me providing. It wasn't something egregious to where I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to provide for my family and I found it challenging. I remember the day that I got it. It was a, a day I'll never forget. I'm at home, my agent calls and said, hey, just wanna let you know you're gonna be the new co-host of American Ninja Warrior. I was proud, like, wow, I couldn't believe that I had gotten to this point. And so this sacrifice that I'd made, working for a couple of years for free, no money, taking a low paying broadcast job to call football games that I loved and I was proud of, it paid off. And that's because I burned the candle that my father told me to burn. That's because I didn't give up, I didn't quit. Not to say I didn't think about quitting, I did think about quitting and thinking, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'm not meant to be a broadcaster. Maybe I'm not meant to host. And now I look back and we're looking at one of the hottest shows during the summer on NBC. I ran into a kid who told me, I don't think that I'll ever be able to make 
that kind of money in my lifetime. And I said, be mindful of what you say with your mouth because that will come true. I know there are a lot of people who are telling you that you can't, that you won't, that you shouldn't. Those people are going to be the same people who are gonna keep you down. You have to see yourself in a higher position. You have to believe it. You may not feel it, but you have to believe it and the rest will follow.